Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. Behind me is a brand new Logan Riot Four Horse Gooseneck. Now we carry a lot of the Bullseye models. It's a very popular model. This one is actually a step up. This is their standard model sitting behind me. So this is a four horse that we've got here. So let's walk through this trailer. I want to show you the dimensions on it. I know if you watch a lot of our videos, you'll see a lot of our Bullseye videos. And I'm going to compare this trailer to those models just to kind of show you some of the differences. So one of the first things we're looking at when we're looking at this layout of this trailer is it is a five foot short wall in a four horse. Both the bullseye and the riot are seven foot tall. On the riot model, you're seven three wide. That's one of the big things is the, is the width difference in these trailers. But this one here is a closet tack setup. Uh, again, it's got a lot of really cool features on it. And again, I'm gonna compare it to those bullseyes because we're gonna have a lot of those to show you here on the lot as well. But again, it's a 2022. When you're looking at a Logan, you're looking at a galvanized steel frame, aluminum body. So we're gonna have that strength of that steel. We're gonna lighten it up, give it a finished, cleaner look in my opinion by doing the aluminum sides. Uh, one of the very first things, and this is standard on, on the Logans, is this vortex lining. If you really start studying these trailers, looking at the gooseneck, looking at the drop wall, but then when you get in the trailer as well, you'll notice that they incorporate this throughout. But this vortex lining is awesome stuff. It's like a bed liner, so it's really stout, it's really durable. I think it deadens a lot of the noise in the stall area. Underneath the gooseneck drop wall, I really like where they incorporate that because, you know, if you live down dirt roads, gravel roads, you're throwing that road debris, those rocks at those goosenecks, and usually underneath there it can get, you know, kind of beat up over time. But that stuff is really durable, not to say you won't ever put a dent in that, but the chances now are extremely reduced based on that. This is a white sheeted trailer, that's standard. You can actually change colors at no additional upcharge. Silver, champagne, charcoal, those type of colors can be changed. If you go with a black sheeted trailer, whether it's the black polish or a black mat, there is an upcharge for that. But this one here, we opted to just do white. Again, that's a standard option there. Now again, when we're starting to look at these trailers, we're gonna notice that the doors are a little bit bigger on the Riot model compared to those bullseyes. You're gonna be dealing with a, a wider door, 33 inches on a bullseye, and you're gonna jump up to a 38 inch wide door on the Riots. Now, this is a closet tack setup. These closet tack setups have become very popular sellers over the last couple of years. We do these in a three and a four horse, We'll do these in some stock combos as well, just because people like this setup. You have a front dressing room that now can stay a lot cleaner. And then we have a sealed off tack room. And the front dressing room stays cleaner because now we keep all the tack and all that kind of dirty stuff back there. So you're not having to smell pads and, and, and saddles and just tack in general. But it's all sealed off. You've got a four tier swing out saddle rack four pads, these are, you can remove some of these, they're not really adjustable, but you can remove some if you don't wanna utilize all four. But by having it swung in, as you can see, there's still a lot of floor space there. You know, it's not really tight. Um, there's, you know, you can throw some buckets, some smaller items there on the, on the actual floor itself. You've got some bridle hooks kind of line the walls in there. You got carpet behind them, so we don't have to worry about that type of stuff, swinging around and scuffing up the actual tack itself or the wall. On the door, you've got a four tier blanket pole rack and a brush tray. This swings out. So again, just kind of keeping thing, things nice and neat. And, and there is a window in the door and, and the window in the door also helps because you know it's completely sealed in right there. If you want to kind of air out that tack room a little bit, you can do that. Then here in the gooseneck front dressing room area, you've got the carpet on the deck, the drop wall, and on, on the floor, you've got two windows, a window in each side of the gooseneck. That really helps just being able to look out. I mean, I don't like it when it's real dark and, and kind of sealed in. Um, it kind of makes you feel a little bit claustrophobic, but you can kind of create a cross breeze through here, kind of keeping things a little bit more comfortable and cool as well. 
there's some hooks. It's again, it's kind of an L shape. So there's some hooks back here on this partition wall. Some customers have gone in, put some cabinets, put a shelf, those type of items in their trailer. You can do that on these setups because you kind of have the ability to kind of create it and, and finish it off how you'd like. You've got a closed bar up on the left-hand side of the gooseneck. And then on the standard models, you're also going to get a tire changing ramp. That is standard on the models as far as like this riot. You get into the living quarters, you get into the stockmen, stockman combos. Again, those are standard options there. But again, bigger doors compared to the bullseye model. I'm going to get these doors out of the way here because I want to show you this extrusion. So on the bullseye model, they use the same gauge, an 050 aluminum skin on the sides and on the roof. Same on the riots. But on the bullseyes, they'll use a sheet of extrusion where this is the actual extruded piece of aluminum. This is what they use on their stockmans and stockman combos. So those those models themselves. So a lot heavier duty extrusion on the side of this trailer. You've got four bus windows with it being a four horse. I really commend them. They've really stepped up and put some bigger windows in these trailers. You know, only on a bus window, only half of it opens. So we can only get so much airflow through there, but they've really stepped up, put a bigger window in there. So we get more airflow in those. Those are bigger than the bullseye models. You also get an LED load light on the side, on each side of this trailer. I'll show you when we get to the other side as well. You have four hooks per side of the trailer with it being a four horse. And they've actually stepped up and gone with a lion's head as far as their tire distributor. You have a one year, no questions asked warranty on these tires, two years roadside assistance. They're nitrogen filled, they're balanced, meaning the PSI levels aren't gonna fluctuate as drastically as air will but then also balance. We want these to really be able to go down the road as best they possibly can. Now, one of the big things that really, again, separates the riots versus the bullseyes is when we get back here into the stall area. I mentioned it before, 7.3 wide. The bullseye model is 6.9 wide, so you're gonna have no wheel wells on the inside there. So you get that additional width then on top of that, you get this floor. So this is their self-draining floor. It is whiz-proof flooring, which is an aluminum plank that's covering the vortex lining, and then this porous rubber floor that sets on top. It allows urine and other liquid to kind of spread out and work its way down through the trailer itself. In fact, they've got a picture of it right here. So that's what we're actually looking at. So these. Aluminum planks run the length of the trailer. They put that vortex lining on it so we don't have urine making contact with that aluminum and then that porous rubber floor on top of it. It's got a lot of grip to it, but man is it easy cleaning these trailers out. You do not have to pull mats and wrestle those things. I mean, literally just power wash it out and you're good to go. You'll probably have to muck out some of the bigger solids out of it, but then that's all you have to do. You have a telescoping divider at the rear here. And the reason for that is we can shrink it down and actually shut our rear doors. With it being extended, it's actually gonna have to sit off this wall quite a, quite a ways. And then when you start stacking other dividers on it, you're gonna lose quite a bit of uh, stall space. So it's really good to be able to get that out of the way. They're padded. They're slam latches that are flush to the wall. This first one here, if you wanted a stud divider, we could actually add an extension to it. Very, very simple. It just attaches to the bottom and then we'll actually have to do the, the bracket that comes off the wall just so we can secure the bottom as well. But as you see, you've got that vortex lining again throughout the trailer. You have a little bit of wheel well in here because it again being 7.3 wide, but with that extra width, you're going to have longer stalls. And then also, when we look at the bullseyes versus the riots, our drop windows and our frames 
on a bullseye are 36 inches wide. And then when you go to this riot, they're 40. So they're wider stalls and they're longer stalls. So they'll accommodate a little bit bigger horse for you there as well. You got two-way roof fence. You got one per horse. So you can manipulate airflow. You've got LED lights in here as well. You've got the dual 50-50 doors. So you, with it being a little bit wider, if you only want to open up one door and back out, you'll notice that they do have a head pad here on the right-hand side. So if you open up that right-hand door and you're moving horses in and out, I mean, some people will typically leave this left-hand door closed just going in and out of the trailer itself. You've got another load light back here as well. And maybe your horse is a fan of a ramp. A ramp could be added to this trailer. There's a lot of things we can do to these trailers after the fact, like a rear ramp, maybe a hay rack. Maybe you don't want that manual crank jack. You want a uh, hydraulic. We can swap that out and get that taken care of for you as well through our shops. Then what you get is, again, these bigger, wider drop windows compared to the bullseye model. You know, a lot of framework to these. Big heavy duty jail bars with screens. The screens easily come off. They just Velcro and slide off the top as you're looking at it there. But really easy to operate. You pull down on the middle bar and then they drop down. Maybe you're wanting to throw in a hay bag, give them some water. You know, you're stopped somewhere, want them to just be able to pop their head out. You can do that. But again, these are really heavy duty and stout. Nice solid seal when you go to close them. Everything is key to like as well, so you can lock up your tack doors, lock up your rear doors, lock up these drop windows. There's also a really cool cheater bar. This is a great design that they've come up with. I mean, if you look at this trailer, that latch is way up there. So for those a little bit more vertically challenged that can't reach that, don't have to step on that, you can actually just pull this bar down and the drop window will come down. So that's a really cool design that they've done. They've improved this over the years. Um, they're constantly working on it. That's a good thing about these, a lot of these manufacturers. Some of them are really good about just being innovative and continuing, continuing to try to improve the trailer as best they can. Again, there's that extrusion. Four tie rings on this side, another load light on this side. But man, what a well-equipped trailer. Uh, again, these closet tacks are fantastic for being able to have a separate dressing room. You know, maybe you want to spend the night, a long weekend, something like that. You've got that ability and then you don't have to sit there and smell, again, all that tack in there. And again, it'll keep that a lot cleaner in that front dressing room. So if you're interested in this trailer, I'll give you the stock number for reference. It is a 2022 Logan Coach Riot, four horse gooseneck. Our stock number is 5N221. 064. We take trade-ins, so if you're looking to upgrade, maybe you have a living quarters that you don't need anymore, and you're wanting to kind of downsize into something like this, we can do those trades for you as well. Anybody on our sales team can help you out. That number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day.